Hey guys, real quick before we hop into today's video, follow me on Mixer right now because as soon as this is done downloading, I'm going to be streaming it. So uh, follow me on Mixer, but without further ado, let's hop right into the video. Are you ready? Hey peeps, how's it going? And today we're back talking about Thon Maker because I've been very, very impressed with his workouts this off season. This dude is in the gym every single day as well as he should be. And I think people are underestimating what he is doing. Um, he played very poorly in the playoffs, but he, he was put in a weird position, you know? That was supposed to be Blake Griffin in the starting lineup. So he never really had that chemistry with the starters. He settled for way too many outside jump shots instead of working it down low. And, you know, I think he did the best of his ability to stop, stop Giannis. Giannis is a freak. There's a reason he's called the Greek freak. I think all of that and the negative that he's been getting on social media from the fans, from critics, it's all piling up and he's starting to put it into the gym. Everyone wants Christian Woods to be the backup center, and I don't. I want Thon Maker. Thon Maker has all the potential in the world to be a great player. He's got the right coach in Dwayne Casey who's supposed to help these young guys really develop, which we have really, we're still in the learning process of what Dwayne Casey can do for us, but it's only a matter of time before he gets his Siakam. He might have that in Sekou. Um, but we're talking about Thon Maker. Thon Maker is working on every single possible thing you can work on in his game to improve it. He's attacking the basket, which I think, you know, all seven footers should have somewhat of a post game. I think that should be a give, give me, you know? He's working on that. He's working on taking people off the dribble because he stands at the perimeter a lot. He takes a lot of those shots. So, you know, they're not always going to be available for you to shoot those. So you have to work the ball down low. He's working on his handles. He's working on passing. He's working on defense. This guy has really just been a war, workhorse this offseason, man. It's, 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 it's a good thing to see. You want players like this who, who want to get better, who want to win here, and we got a good deal for it, for Stanley Johnson. Stanley Johnson hasn't done anything, you know. Um, he's, he's, Stanley Johnson signed with the Raptors this offseason. And if it doesn't work out there, he's never going to amount to much. You know, he's a great, great defensive star. You know, probably one of the most underrated defenders in the league. But we got Thon Maker, who can block shots and rim protect. And in due time, he's going to be an offensive juggernaut. Once he gets this attack in the hoop and... You know, dribbling and all that stuff. There's not going to be much you can do to stop him defensively. This guy is going to be great for the Pistons. He's already established his defensive mindset. I mean, the first couple games in here, he had a, he, he blocked it and had to get stitches in his mouth. I want people like that who aren't afraid to get hurt, who put their body on the line. We got that in him and Blake Griffin. They both play injured. They both give it their all whenever they're out there. They don't take plays off. That's the kind of people I want here. Now, other people out there who are better than Thonmaker, absolutely. But I want Thonmaker here. I, I like this guy. I like his work ethic. I like everything he's done here for the Detroit Pistons so far. And now he's got a whole offseason to work with these guys. You guys got to remember, he came here at the trade deadline. So he didn't really have any of these offseason hangouts or know anyone's styles. You know, Drummond tried his, tries to make people come in here and feel comfortable. Um... Now he has a whole entire offseason with those guys. You know, he's been a starter for us. He's coming off the bench. There's a lot of expectation from the Detroit fan base to be better than an eight seed and win a playoff game, if not a playoff series. While at the same time, all the other people outside of Detroit, ESPN and all those fellas, you know, they're not really, you know, giving much credit to Detroit and not making the playoffs. So when you get that kind of reaction from big market teams that, you know, like, the Lakers and the Clippers might be a little bit overhyped. Uh, Houston is overhyped, but they're all big market teams. He, he's he's coming away from a small market team in Milwaukee to a small market team here in Detroit. So, I mean, he's he's used to not being in the spotlight. He's used to it. But uh, you got at some point in time, you got to hear all those negative things and, you know, shut them out, 
just go to work. And I think that's what he's doing. He's, he's busting his tail feathers off. So I'm happy with it. Um, what do you guys think about Thon Maker so far? Um, I think the battle for backup center between him and Christian Woods is going to be a great one. It should be fun to watch in preseason, but I think Thon's just got the edge. Especially if, if the way he's in, incorporated his offseason workouts into his game. You, you, you guys will love to have Thon Maker. So leave it down in the comments down below. Instagram, Twitter, Mixer, in the description. Follow me on all those platforms. 2K20 is coming out very, very soon. I'm going to be streaming it. So you do not want to miss out on that. Uh, I'll try to get some clips for YouTube, but I'm going to be streaming the prelude on Mixer. So you want to follow me there. And then all DS members are in the description. Be sure to check all those ones out. Shout out to The Big Take. He's the newest member. Um, I forgot to do a video about it, but shout out to The Big Take. Welcome to the DSA, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.